How you doing, Ronald? Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? There you go. Nice cold water. Now look, being in the heat, you're going to lose your electrolytes. I got some flavored propels here, nutrient water with packed with electrolytes. Would you want a watermelon, a grape, or a black cherry? Watermelon. Watermelon? No problem. Yeah. There you are, young man. I love watermelon. How, look, looks like you got a, an apartment set up here. Yeah. I got it going on right now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, nice and soon. You gotta stay. Especially you stay hydrated, yeah. Yeah. I need a little cooler for them waters, but then again. Yeah, I need one. But well, I need well, then again, a cooler is not going to be any good if you can't get ice. I can get ice. That's can you? No problem. You know what? I got a. I got like a small bucket. Not with me. Oh, I got something else for you. You're going to love this. Check this out. My friend Lori sent these cooling towels. And these have been soaking in, in an ice bath. You know, with a bunch of water. Wrap that bad boy around your neck. And, uh, boy, you'd be surprised. Oh, yeah. It's a game changer right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Heck, yeah. Now, yeah, you can wear a scarf, you know, a headband. You know, like a bandana style. Yeah. Whatever you need to do. Then all you gotta do is, like, if you say you can get ice, just let it sit in ice for, you know, not even 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, if you can. Otherwise, you can just go under cold water. You can kind of go from there. Where's Jay today? He went over to get on Wi Fi. Over at McDonald's? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anybody out by the road today. I ain't seen none of them today. Yeah. I usually just do a lap, you know, through the whole parking lot. That way I can see every spot, you know, where yeah. I normally see people. But you doing, you need any supplies? No, I'm good. Doing all right. What about some food, man? You got some food? Yeah, I got canned food. Oh yeah, okay, you got uh, the can over. Yeah. Do you still got that P thirty eight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a backup plan just in case. Yeah. Once that one strips out. Yeah. They, you know what? It doesn't spin they anymore. Normally, they normally wear out pretty fast. Yeah, you get about ten cans out of them. Yeah. <laughs> that's why they're a buck. Well, yeah. I mean, they're cheap, you know. Yeah, I mean that's the idea. You know, yeah. it, it, they help out in a pinch, but I only yeah. had one the good ones left. And the handle broke off. Oh, nice. I yeah. thought, well, well, of course, that's the way it I goes. Here, I didn't want a can open. I got you there, brother. Well, all right. We got you some electrolytes, nice cold water. What about a, you want Dr. Pepper? Heck yeah. All right. I drink Dr. Pepper. All right. My friend Angie sent these. There you are, my good man. Oh, yeah. I like Dr. Yeah. Pepper. You know, it's got seven, seven flavors, some kind of. I don't know. I just see it in the commercials. Yeah, yeah they uh, come out with this new kind of Dr. Pepper. Yeah, there's the strawberries and cre or cream and strawberries. Uh, yeah, it was. I think it was last football season. I think that's what it was called, strawberries and cream. It doesn't matter, but I haven't tried it yet. But, uh, well, all right. I guess, uh, you, you get a blanket, man? Yeah, I got a blanket. Okay, well, that's like a big towel. I mean, you got a blanket? No. Well, I can make that. Blanket too hot. Well, valid point. Okay. I got blankets in storage. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, if you got food and supplies, we bought this because I got tired of sleeping in his chair. <laughs> and it airs itself up. Really? Yeah. It's got a ton. You got to put batteries in it. You know, it's got its own pump. It's got a recharge. Oh, nice. You can't beat that. What? Uh, whose bike? Mine. Some guy asked me, I want it. I said, everybody needs a bike around here. Really? The only thing wrong with it, needs, it's got a flat. And that's, those are only 20 inch, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I helped uh, my I helped friend Tim. One, I helped one of the girls out with it or something. Yeah. You know. 20 inch, 20 inch tube, it looks like. Yeah. All right. Let me go read it just to be sure. It could be a 22. Yeah, it might be different. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, now I'm angry with myself. I left my glasses at home. Yeah, they're 20s. Okay. All right. Well, very well. Got a few things I want to do today. So everything's cool? Yeah. You look good, man. I feel very really good. Did you have a nice fourth? Yeah, I say I watched fireworks for free. Nice. Good deal. I heard them. I didn't get to see them. I was I fixing them. I had a water pipe break at my house and I was working on my water pipe pretty much all day until the fireworks started.
I had trouble digging this big, big hole with a tiny garden shovel through roots and rocks and everything else. Uh, yeah. It was a mess. Dull. <laughs> Some, you know, 1977 garden shovel. All right. Good to see you again, sir. Good to see you, sir. All right, I'll run into you. I'll All come right. by and check on you every now and then. All right. Um, I'm hoping I'll be out here tomorrow. Yeah, where are you heading? Well, I gotta go to the Social Security office first. Yeah. And then, if I don't get a place, I'm gonna rent me a motel room. Yeah? I gotta get out of this heat, man. I can't take it. Yeah, that's that's gonna be rough. I'll tell you what, you got a working phone? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you another one of my cards. My email address is on the bottom there. And, uh, I want you to email me and let me know you know if you need a ride and some transportation i'll get another different vehicle and we'll pack your stuff up and i'll bring you over to the hotel if you don't get an apartment okay sound good sounds good all right that way you don't got to try to figure out how you're going to get there and pack up all your stuff and unless you had a you know a plan well my cousin i hadn't seen in years uh-huh she heard that i was batting dalton she come found me the other day oh fantastic yeah how did you find out you were you were back here her daughter works at the hospital okay and she found out i was released down in canton and i come back to dog you were in canton georgia yeah okay i was in that healing facility in canton okay called cherokee center all right they paid for everything nice i didn't have no insurance nothing at the time right and me i'm half cherokee oh fantastic so they you got like a grant in. they took yeah. me in right there you know i've got a for nothing i've got a uh 1 16th uh cherokee it's not much, but no. Well, I'm good. Mad. Yeah. All right. Everybody, where you get the blue eyes? And my dad. <laughs> Mom was full blooded Cherokee. Dad was a full blooded Alabama redneck. Alabama redneck. And well, he was a redneck. I wonder how they met. That'd be strange. Yeah. Well, I, I don't really remember how they met. My dad was a truck driver. That's all he ever done. Uh -huh. When he was in the service, that's what he did. He drove an ammo truck. Oh, okay. You know, he prime target, you know. Anyway, when he got service to come back home, he, he he already knew who mom was. They went to school together. Oh. And they run across each other. One month later, they got married. Really? Yep. They might have had eyes for one another back in school. You yeah. know, and neither one of them said anything because they were nervous, you know, or, yeah. you know, kids, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. All right, but man. Daddy knew he was going into service. Fantastic. What branch? He was in the Army. Okay. He still alive? No. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. All my family dead and gone except for you cousins. Oh, man, that's horrible. Yeah, I'm the only one. All right. Except for my cousin. Out of my family, immediate family, I'm the only one left. Really? Well, stay strong, brother. My my information's yeah. on there. Get a hold of me, man. If, you're, if, you're, if your cousin can't help you out, I will. Okay. Yeah, I'll help you out. I'll bring a minivan down and we'll get you set up. All right. Yeah. Sure appreciate it. Yeah, we'll get you wherever we need to go. Hell yeah. I got skills. Always. You got to get you out of the heat, man. Yeah. Hey, you don't want to. Always wanna, good. Have a backup. You don't want to turn into a raisin out here. No, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah. Good seeing you, Ronald. Hey, good seeing you. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right, stay in the shade, man. Oh, get on those electrolytes. It's going to help you out. Longevity. Okay, young man, take care. Alrighty. I like Ronald. He's a good dude. Alright. Moving on. He's got an air mattress out here and wheelchair, two wheelchairs. He's ready to go. Numerous waters. I gotta see if I got that. I, I know I got some, you know, just generic five gallon buckets at the house. I think I can uh just bring one to him. He could use that for a generic type of ice deal. You know, at the very least. I might even have a crusty old cooler. You know, I don't throw much away, to be honest. It's part of a, part of a problem, actually. I'm like a hoarder. I know it's somewhere. I know I got one. But yeah, problem is where. All right, <laughs> gonna be back in a minute.